Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel and we are reviewing the uh, Evercool ice box. Um, it's called the Ice Cool ice boxes and they come with a five year warranty. Uh, this was purchased from the home of 12 volts northern and uh, those guys helped me out with uh, choosing an ice box uh, for my four wheel drive and uh, I also use the ice boxes for any parties at my house and also um, just general keeping stuff in boxes to keep them away for storage so you can also use them uh, for storage uh, use and putting it on your four drive as well if you need some of that uh, really tough um, stuff in the bush this uh, is an 85 litre that I have purchased and uh, I'm very happy with it. These are the uh, blue ones, so they are the blue uh, box with the ice cool written on it. You can find these at BCF or any um, camping retail store. There are different models uh, from very small to uh, very large. Pr prices ranging um, from yeah, $100 to $1,000. Um, and the recommended uh, retail uh, from Evercool website is uh, $440 for an 85 litre and um, they make good products uh, it comes with a 5 year warranty um, if you have any problems uh, with it uh, that's um, from the uh, factory you can change it uh, within the 5 years um, as long as you didn't damage it at all um, so yeah, when a latch is broken or something like that when they send it to you then you'll just send it back to wherever you bought it from or you can call them directly and send the product back um, you can register online all of your uh, products so then they have a record for their computer um, so they're in uh, Queensland Um, has uh, useful tips and suggestions for better performance at ice cool ice box. Um, it says that you'll get uh, three to ten days of use from ice with your ice box um, if you follow the, these uh, tips. So when not in use, uh, store your uh, ice cool with the lid partly open and the bung loose, and this will allow the ice box to breathe. So no uh, bacteria that gets in there when you don't use it for a long time. Uh, the day before loading put ice into the cool box to cool the walls down. Put frozen and or cold products into the ice cool as it will increase the life of the ice. Organise the product in your ice cool to ensure that you don't have to keep the lid open longer than necessary. Top up with ice and leave for an hour or so and shake the ice box to allow the ice to impact with uh, the product and uh, drain any water through by the bung. Retop up ice with the, the box to reduce the amount of air space inside the ice box. Always uh, refasten the lid on uh, the ice cool to, to ensure that the seal is maintained. Open your ice cool uh, the least amount of times possible and always keep your ice box um, in the uh, shadiest and coolest spot covering the ice box will help and uh, has uh, ice uh, management here it says ice quality is extremely important and well curved ice which has been kept at low temperature in the freezer should be used um, block the ice, block ice last uh, longer than broken or crushed ice and you will create your own block ice by freezing drinking water in plastic bottles which becomes a valuable source of ice cold fresh drinking water. Uh, always ensure the bung is correctly screwed on and the recommended ratio of ice product is an ice cool ice box is Approximately one third ice to uh, two thirds of the product volume. And cleaning maintenance 
is always wash your ice cool with uh, warm soapy water. Don't use solvents or any other chemicals. Uh, dry the walls after washing and use a shaped piece of polyethylene to create uh, separate areas in your ice cool and your ice cool is strong enough to be used as a seat or great standing box to look over others at sporting events which is really good because I weigh a lot and uh, could use it to stand up on things and try and maybe even uh, get on my roof rack of my Prado which is fairly hard to get on so if I can put that on the ground uh, it will help me a lot uh, to put things on the roof so you could do that you may wear it out a little bit and scuff it on the ground but these boxes will take any amount of punishment um, here's the address of Evercool themselves got any problems any queries call them and uh, that's all for the paperwork now we'll get into the actual uh, fridge this is the uh, ice box itself. It's uh, a big blue one, as you can see. It has the uh, barcode here with the uh, number of the model here. It's 85 litre IKO. It has the uh, ice core stickers all around the box. Has here the latches here, little ropes that come off. They're very strong. The lid opens here. It has a seal up the top, as you can see. It's molded to the inside and uh, has the three hinges in the back, all plastic. And uh, inside, there's a big Space for your ice and your drinks. Has the bung here with a recess inside of it so all the water drains out. There's also other versions with a divider here that you can put different drinks in. Have stickers in here, it keeps ice for up to six uh, days, five year warranty, and over 500,000 ice calls sold. You have your bung here, anti clockwise to drain it. It doesn't have a little uh, thing to hold it, so don't lose it, but keep that tight. Around the back here has uh, three screws on top, three screws on the bottom and uh, it holds up underneath there like so won't fall over same sticker on the other side all the plastic hinges I'd say it only weighs uh, less than 20 kilos people can easily lift it. Empty, it's very easy to move. Very strong. Can stand on it. Looks really nice. Fits in the back of a Toyota Prado 120 series with the door closing. It's fairly thin and long. looking at them at the full drive show and uh, I really like what I saw and the size so I uh, purchased this uh, to test out um, which sort of was better an ice cool box or the um, compressor which I've also purchased the 60 liter RF series compressor and ice box so you can pretty much use either or or you can use this as 
uh, storage for your camping gear. Keep it all cool. And uh, it's very good insulation. Very strong. Happy with the uh, purchase. You can get these from Homer 12 Volts Northern uh, around Ingle Farm area.